first evictee. It's Grant! Yay! Yay! Grant! You didn't want to be the first one out, and you're the first one out. Yeah, I know. It all went oh. terribly wrong somewhere, obviously. But I don't really know where it went terribly wrong. Like, mm. you I don't think you've really done anything wrong. It's just been a really rubbish luck of the draw, I think. How yeah. do you feel to be sat here, especially after not wanting I, to come I, I've out I've got to yet. be honest, it's really mixed emotions because I, I made it very clear when I went in, you know, I, I wanted to be myself, I clearly wanted to do my best, I desperately didn't want to be first out. Mm. But when you're in there, and no words, I don't have the vocabulary to explain to you what it's actually really like in here, I don't. <laughs> it is off the scale bizarre and yes. you only see on the television you know bits and bobs of yeah. what goes on during the day and it plays tricks with you it plays tricks on your mind everything becomes hypersensitive you say something and you think Are you oh second god guessing everything you're second guessing everything all the time but you're also trying to work out should i have said that because it might offend this person what are the public going mm. to think but on the other hand you know i'm i'm glad to be out, to be back in the realms of yeah. normality, to see my children, yeah. um, and to sleep in my bed. And um, we did see you say in the diary room that you know you have been yourself. You haven't been putting on an act. Yeah. You, you know, you've just kind of there's been no pretenses. No, no, no. Listen, what? What? I don't know what you've seen, but but whatever you've seen is me. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't pretended. I haven't put anything yeah. on. I. I went said all the way along. I had no strategy. I definitely had no strategy. I'm just trying to be me. And do you think anybody is putting it on? Oh, there's lots That's of people. That's what I really want to know. Of, I, t I tell you what is bizarre. You sit there and everyone is behaving perfectly normal, be, uh, normally and then somebody sees that as an opportunity to do something really odd to get themselves on the television. It's like being with, at times, 14 performers who, if they see a dull moment... And do you moment, think everybody's doing that? <sighs> well, no, no, not, not everybody. Some people Give are doing it a lot more. Bear's doing it constantly. <laughs> You know, he, he, he does it constantly. Whenever there's a dull moment, it's the, in the house. He will come and he'll try and get you to do something that he thinks is going to get on the television. Right. And other people do it to a lesser extent. Um, yeah, it, it's just, it's crazy. But I need to, I, I have loved it. Yeah. And I wouldn't have missed it for the world. It looks like you've really enjoyed it. You're, you're yeah. sat here, obviously, because you were nominated. Now, you know, yeah. because there was a rule break, that uh, Biggin, Syrah and James nominated you. Do you think Correct. there were any others? Oh, I'm sure there were, yeah. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, please. Here we go. Yeah. My first nomination, I'm afraid, is going to be Grant. 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 Anthea, his wife, was a great friend of mine, and I think perhaps she was treated uh, quite badly. We're sharing a bed together, and um, he's been snoring. He's just sort of kind of, like, kept himself to himself. I feel like there's a little bit of... Um, separation from the rest of the house. I haven't seen too much of a, a perspective, or opinion, or personality come forward. He doesn't initiate tremendous conversation. When Marnie came up to me and showed me her breasts as part of a dare, he f actually took the side of Marnie. If Grant believes that that is acceptable behaviour, then, in my view, Grant has to go. So, eight nominations in total. Yeah. Any surprises? Yeah, of course. Who? Yeah, really. Well, obviously, R Ricky. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, really. He's a lovely, lovely Did he say man. it was it? Ricky's the snoring one. Yeah. No, no, no. I, but I, I, I think, Emma, when, when you have to nominate, yeah. you hardly know anybody Absolutely. In the so house. things like snoring can, yeah, well, can well, be Well, a... people are looking for an excuse. Yeah. They're looking for an excuse. My public perception before I went in, you know, wasn't great. Mm. I was probably cast as the pantomime villain. So, I, look, I, I don't hold any of that personally, particularly... But the, you didn't seem to be perceived that way by the house at all. Well, not maybe as time unfolded, but... but Did but... you feel that when you went in there, that, that people judged you? A little bit. Well, clearly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't think it. I've just seen it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you, were, you, were, you were close with the older set of housemates, but you were also very close with the younger set of housemates as well. You kind yeah. of straddled that divide yeah. quite well. Did, did you have a side that you preferred to be around? No, no I, I, absolutely not. It's, it was a very different conversation. 
Right. Very different behaviour, depending on who yeah. you were sitting with, but I, I, I enjoyed it. But that's how I am. Yeah. You know, my, my, my children genuinely, occasionally, invite me on holiday with them because I'm not the old fuddy-duddy dad. You know, I, I don't have a problem mixing with younger people. But having said that, I thoroughly enjoyed talking to Biggins. Yeah. You know, and James, well, yeah, exactly. once I got to know James, you, ja you... James was really difficult to yeah. begin with, but he really softened down, really softened down. Yeah, as, as I said, you, you kind of struggled the divide really well because you were yeah. close with both sides. Yeah, well, I tried, I tried. Um, you seem to have a soft spot for Marnie. Uh, you got know, on you know really what? well with her. L listen, it, I found it really comical, if I'm honest, because when I went in, you know, that you've obviously cast some hot guys in there, and, and the girls were making a fuss of me, and I think there was a little bit of humour involved in there, and I was trying to be humorous back. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a running gag. Yeah. Having said that, I liked her, but not in that way. Yeah. It was quite funny, though, because she sat in the diary room, didn't she? And she was like, there's totally some flirty going on with me and Grant. Like, and she meant it from her side as well. Like, she didn't, yeah. you know, she, so it was, it was quite nice to see that, that little, uh, the little jokey side. Yeah, I think it was t television humour. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you weren't bothered when she got together with Lewis? Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No, no, absolutely not. God, I'm old enough to be... Do you father. think... My, my daughter's older than mine. Do you think the other housemates thought that you were bothered, though? Do you know what? I'd like to think not. Mm. But, you know, having shown my nominations, I'm <laughs> completely... My, my, my head is spinning. Well, as you um, say, it, it's the type of house that does do that to your head, isn't it? Like, you, you can never imagine what it's like until you actually go in there. Yeah, but I, I'm not a performer. You know, I'm, I'm not an actress. I'm an actress. I'm not an actor. <laughs> I'm definitely not an actress. Um, I'm not an actor. I'm not a presenter. I'm none of those things. These yeah. guys are all changed in, in the art of broadcasting. Yeah. You know, and I'm not. I, I was making As you it said, up. you feel like... You know, Bear is very much kind of creating situations oh, he's when full he can. On. He, he's he's full a on. very domineering character. We have seen that over the past few days. What's mm. your take on him? I think he's he's very interesting. He, he's desperate, desperate to win. He's desperate to win. And my my opinion on him, he's trying far too hard. Because I've had conversations with him when he's been normal bear, mm. and actually he's been okay. But 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 he's only normal bear for five percent of the day. Right. The other ninety-five percent, yeah. he's he's a spinning top. He's certainly probably one of the loudest housemates, and I kind of get the impression that he kind of thinks he's ruling the roost a little bit. But having lived there, do you think there is one person who is in charge of that house? Um, Biggins is in control of the house. I mean, everybody looks up to him, right. whether it be the older set or the younger set, but he takes court, he holds court. Right. You must have seen that. And now that he's not there, who, who do you think will take that place? Um, that's a very interesting question. I don't think James will, but he, uh, because he, I, don't think he, I don't think James can hold court the way that Biggins. Um, with regards to anybody else, I, I've got to be honest, um, it's going to go to pot, basically. It's going to go to pot. There's no uh, natural quickly, leader. There's no natural who would you leader. like to win? Uh, well, putting, put, putting aside Ricky. Putting okay. aside what he said, Here Ricky. Here are your best picks. <laughs> it's Grant. Hi. Oh. Hi, I'm Grant. Nice to meet you, Ruth. Mm. He's like James Bond, he's just cold. Cool, man. Go on, Bovey. g -bo is my man. How old are you? I'm 55. You're sexy 55. Do you like wearing Grant a flirt? Do you like being Little Spoon or Big Spoon? I thought you knew that he liked it. No. She's a really nice girl. You guys kiss. What the f is going on? You no. lost, Marnie. I've blown it. The honeymoon is over. Grant. What? What, Jeebo? That's a liberty, Jeebo. Well, I voted for Grant. I, I can't think of one thing that I've done. Grant is a middle-aged man who would like to be in his early 20s. Oh. I'm getting more. And that ain't gonna work. He's in their camp quite a lot, which is a weird behaviour. Why don't you go f*** yourself? In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You f***ing... 
he loved Grant. He's funny, he's a laugh. What happened after I went to bed last night? <laughs> Grant is a lovely guy. He's a sweetheart. My time in the Big Brother house has been electrifying. I've crammed in 300 days' worth of emotions and activities. It's been great.